Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're going to be doing a football video it will be the Premier League table prediction for the end of the season now you may be thinking Micah what are you wearing well it's boxing day so all you do is relax and watch football so I'm in a Christmas onesie judge me I don't care do what you want let's get into the video so we're going to go from back to front. So in 20th place, I have Sheffield United. Um, they've got, I think, one point in the season. It's just not good enough. Um, they haven't been doing well. One of their centre-backs got injured and the whole Chris Wilder overlapping centre-backs hasn't been working. So I think they will be rock bottom of the table. Um, in 19th place, I have Fulham. Now, they've not been good enough. They haven't got results. They have a couple of okay players, Loftus Cheek, Luckman, but it's 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 just not there. Like they they're not going to be able to survive. Um, yeah. So in 18th place, I have West Brom. They also have good players, Dean Garner, Connor Gallagher. We obviously got the West Brom career. You should go check out check that out. Just uploaded episode three. Um, but. Big Sam, avoiding relegation specialist, but he won't do it. I'm sorry, but the team's just not good enough to do it. Like, they'll come 18th, but that's the max. In 17th, we have Burnley. See, Burnley under Sean Dyke, they've done really well over the last few years, despite an extreme lack of funds going into the club. After an awful start by Burnley's high standards, they've started, started picking up results, and I think they will just stay up because they're solid defence and Sean Dyke's managerial class in a 4-4-2 formation. Okay, in 16th, we have Brighton. Brighton have one of the worst squads in the league, but under Graham Potter, they play really good football and dominate games. But due to their squad, they do not get results. But because of Potter's managerial knowledge, I think they will stay up. And also, they have Tariq Lam too. Fact. It's just that. It's just that. It's just that. In 15th, we have Newcastle United. Newcastle didn't score many goals last season, so they signed Wilson and Fraser. Wilson has been good so far. Um, expected points had them relegated last season, so 15th wouldn't be really that much of a downgrade on last season, despite them coming higher in the table. Now, Crystal Palace, I have two sentences for you. They're in 15th, they're in 14th. Crystal Palace, they fuck Leeds. Then they got fucked harder by Liverpool. Much harder. Like. And they only fucked Leeds like. But then Liverpool was like. Okay. They're in 14th. In 13th. Um, we have Leeds. They got their asses violated by Crystal Palace. As I just said. And United bombed them. Um, despite getting violated by those two teams. They still bombed Newcastle and beat Everton as well as drawing to Manchester City. So they will be in 13th. In 12th, we have Arsenal. They're shit. In 11th, we have West Ham. They have Lanky Giraffe, Sebastian Aller. They beat Wolves by four and Leicester by three early on in the season. And they drew to Manchester City and Spurs. They've picked up seven points out of their last five games, which is out of a possible 15. In 10th, we have Southampton. They have Lord Theo Walcott. They beat Everton and they've drawn to Chelsea. And they have picked up, as, as well as West Ham, 7 out of 15 points in their last five games. In 9th, I have Aston Villa. They beat Liverpool 7-2, obviously. That was good. Grealish is on top form and as well to have Barkley. The creativity they're both creating well for Ollie Watkins up top is just really, really class. They've also got seven out of their last possible 15 points. but they And they were lost to West Ham and Brighton. In eighth, we have Wolves. Um, Jimenez is out after that nasty head clash with David Luiz. They lost to Burnley and Villa, but they beat, did beat Chelsea and Arsenal. And they've picked up six out of a possible 15 points in their last five games. Now in seventh place, we have Everton. They beat Leicester, Spurs and Chelsea. 
but they did lose to United and Burnley and they lost to United and drew to Burnley and lost to Leeds. So it's a bit of a mixture, but beating those three top six sides was really up there for me, as well as having Carlo Ancelotti, if James Rodriguez, Calvert Lewin is unmatched this season. It's unreal. Now, moving into the top six, this is where it gets exciting. In sixth place, we have Leicester City. Uh, they beat Manchester City 5 2. They beat Spurs 2 0. They look, obviously, as I said before, they lost to West Ham 3 3 0 and Fulham 2 1 and Everton 2 0. But the thing is, they're just a top, top team. Like, the title ends of 15 16 compared to the team they have now. It is unreal that this team hasn't won the league, but that one did. It's ridiculous. Um, yes, yeah, so them in sick. In fifth, we have Chelsea. They've dropped quite a few points lately, getting just seven out of a possible 15 points in their last five games, and they cannot win against top half teams. I think they've done it once this season. Like, that is not good enough when you're spending £222 million in the summer. And playing Werner on the wing, um, it brings balance to the team because you have Abraham up front, but he cannot score on the wing. He cannot score. He's like freaking Aubameyang. Just can't score. Now moving into the top four, we have Man United in fourth place. They beat Leeds 6-2 and they've got 13 out of a possible 15 points in their last five games. The only time they dropped points was their draw to Manchester City. So they've done quite well recently. In third, we have Spurs. I reckon they'll bottle second place. So they dropped some points recently. They've only got one out of a possible nine in their last three games. Although they did face Liverpool and Leicester. Um, yeah, but their, their title challenge, I always, every Spurs fan that came to me was like, oh, we're going to win the league, we're going to win the league. I was just like, nah, nah, professional bottlers. I don't even think they'll come seconds. They'll bottle that. Like, they just can't, they just, they just can't. I don't care if Jose Mourinho is a born winner. Go win the fucking Carabao Cup then. Like, right. you you got you got Stoke and now you got Brentford and then like it, you're just easy beat City or United in the final. Um, because it's a joke of a competition and they won't care. Um, in second we have Man City. I think they haven't done too well lately, but they will get back to their best and I think they'll scrape. Second from Spurs, the bottlers, the bottlers, the bottlers. Yeah, Spurs will bottle that, so Man City will sweep in and get there. And then, in first place, the one that we've all been waiting for, and we knew who I was going to put there straight from the beginning, it's Liverpool. They're just the best team in the league. Um, They lost 7-2 to Villa, but then they redeemed themselves and they won 7-0 to Palace. Um, they also beat Spurs, so they're just going to run away with it again, I'm sorry. But people thought there would be a close race this season because of Chelsea, Spurs, City, but it just isn't. They're just going to run away with it. I reckon they'll win it by, like, 15 points, something like that. Like, they're just unmatched, really. Like, fuck injuries. It doesn't really matter. Like, no Van Dijk or Gomez, but, like, they don't need them. Honestly, it's just their attack's just so good. Um, so, yeah, that is my Premier League predictions for the end of the season. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, and Merry Boxing Day!